Hey everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a tutorial on how to program four directional movement without the use of logic bricks um, with Python and the BGE. And I'm just getting started. To start off, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. And on our cube in the middle, what I'm going to do is add an always sensor like this, and add a Python controller like this, and connect these right here. Click the first three dots on this always sensor, and go over here, and do templates Python and game logic simple to create a script template delete everything on screen right here and what we're going to do right now is we are going to rename this script as scripts.py lowercase sorry script.py and add this right here next what we're going to do is inside of our script what I'm going to do now is define our keyboard so let's do keyboard is going to equal bge.logic.keyboard okay now that we have this, let's define our W key. So I'm going to have W key is going to equal bg.logic.kx underscore um, inputs underscore active. That's going to be double equal to keyboard.events and bge.events.w key. This may be kind of long, but I'm going to show you what this is going to be in a second. We've essentially just defined our keyboard sensor, our W key inside of the script. So what we're going to do is have if w key dot, um, if w key like this we're just going to print w key this is just to make sure this is working properly and everything all right i'm going to do window and toggle system console like this and if i hit p now we should be able to hit the w key and see this running like this okay now that we've got this right here though what we're going to do is define um, w a s and d key for all of these so let's do the s key is going to equal bg.logic dot kx underscore inputs active double equal keyboard dot events bg dot events dot s key all right next key is the a key we're going to do bg dot logic dot kx underscore inputs active is going to equal keyboard dot events bg dot events dot a key now the last one is the d key so d key is going to equal bg dot logic dot kx underscore inputs underscore active double equal keyboard dot events bge dot events dot d key okay now since we don't want we don't want to actually print the name of whatever key we're pressing so what we're going to do is replace this w key right here so let's have it so our cube is going to move forward on the positive y axis so let's have if we press the w key own dot apply movements then we're going to have um it's like this, 0, 0.2, 0, then put the end bracket, and then put true after this, because we want this to be local movement. So if we were to run this now, we should see I can move this cube forward by pressing the W key. If we want our cube to move backwards, let's have if S key. We're going to have own that apply movements. And we're going to have uh, 0 comma negative 0 points to uh, points to comma 0 and for local movement let's have true if we want to move left let's have um if a key own dot apply movements then we're going to have negative 0 points 2 on the x-axis 0 and 0 like this comma true all right then if we want to move right let's have if D key own that apply movements all right so then we're going to have 0 0.2 comma 0 comma 0 ends brackets true like this so I should be able to hit play and I can move this cube in all four directions by using our keyboard sensors that we've defined above all right everyone so this has been a tutorial on how to add or how to program four directional movements without without the use of logic bricks with Python and the BGE. I hope you guys find this very useful. And here's the script just for one more second. Thanks for watching, everyone.